Parameter 9, zero and span check interval. This is for the S304 and S305 only. Now, in this video, I would like to demonstrate you what's going to happen if you initialize the zero and span check. For that, I first would like to show you um, the normal operation. Um, you can see here on the display, it's shown 5.1%, and here on the left, Multimeter, I have connected the milliamp output and it shows 4.8 milliamp right now. Uh, on the right multimeter, I can show you the continuity on the relays. As it is for the normal operation, it should show continuity between C and B on both relays. Now, Let's start the zero and span check. Ah, first of all, the reference value for the zero and span check. That is set during auto setup or whenever you change the milliamp range. Then it uh, sees this value as it's measured at that time as the reference value and it references it against that value whenever the zero and span check is initiated. So that means if you go to parameter 9, this is as a default set to be zero, so it's off. If the parameter 9 is set to be zero, then no span check will happen. However, if you want to um, enforce the zero and span check right away, you can go to parameter 9 and just save it. Even though it's zero, you just save it and it starts the zero and span check. Yes, you, see the, you, hear, you heard the relay? It's going to 4 milliamp and now it's in maintenance mode, so it shows continuity between C and B and between C and A. And the milliamp is starting on 4 milliamps and soon it will ramp up to about 80% of the range, so to about 16.8 milliamp. But that will take a while. Um, what happens is that if there is a drift on the instrument, and that drift is more than 3% and less than 10% of range, uh, the zero and span check function will correct it automatically. Um, if the drift is more than 10%, then it will go to maintenance mode and you should contact your distributor or central directly. Then something is seriously wrong. Um, yeah, now we're just waiting for the uh, 16 milliamp to go up. Now you can see that goes up to 16.8, 16.9 milliamp. It's referencing on the span level. That will also take a while. Say 80%. Now the zero and span check is finalized. You did hear the relay reacting and it goes back into normal measurement modes and also the two LEDs oblink are permanently green illuminated. Now this was how to uh, enforce the zero and span check and with parameter 9 if you change that from value 0 to let's say value 10, 
then it will save that. Now, from now on, it will do a zero and spam check every 10 hours. And as I said, as soon as you save a value here, it starts the zero and spam check and it does exactly the same cycle as we have seen it before.